Okay, so we're going to set up an Express server with a React front end. So the first thing we need is an Express app. So we're going to just going to use an Express generator for that. Then with that installed, we just need to run Express and the name of the project, which we'll call React Backend. Then just CD into there and install everything. You can see it's generated a bunch of files for us. And we're going to ignore most of them and just focus on this routes users.js file here. So let's just open up the file in our editor. By default, this route just returns this string, respond with a resource. So we're going to delete that line. And instead, we're going to respond with JSON. So we can just say res.json. And we want to return an array with a couple hard coded elements. Let's say ID one. Username, somebody, let's duplicate that. E2, username, somebody else. Save that file, and then we can try it out. Back over in the terminal, we can set our port to 3001 and start up the app. So by default, the Express server would start up on port 3000, but there would be a port conflict with Create React app because that also wants to start on 3000. So we can avoid that conflict by starting up Express on port 3001 with this environment variable here. Now I'm on a Mac, but if you're running Windows, you'll probably need to set the port a little differently. Something like set port equals 3001 and node bin www. So that's something to be aware of if you're on Windows. I'm gonna start it back up. Then go over to the browser and we can navigate to localhost 3001 slash users and just make sure that it's working. And we've got our JSON response right here. Great. So we can go over and make the React app now. I'm going to open up a second tab in my terminal here and make sure that we have create React app installed. And then from inside this React backend directory, I'm just going to run create. React app, and we're going to call it client. Now that it's created the React app, we can CD into client. And the first thing we're going to do is open up package.json. We just need to make one change to this file. We need to add a proxy key, and this is what's going to tell create React app to proxy our API requests to the express server. So we add a proxy key here. And it gets the value of HTTP localhost 3001. And you notice this is the 3001, same port that we started up the express server on. Those need to match. So with that done, I'm going to start up the React app here. And now that the app's running, we can go and edit the app.js file and just remove some of this generated code here. So the first thing we need to do here is to initialize state to an empty array of users. And then after the component mounts, so inside the component did mount handler, we need to fetch the users from the server. This slash users endpoint here corresponds to the slash users from the express server and because we set up that proxy in package JSON, create React apps webpack dev server is going to see this request to slash users and then forward it along to our express server backend. So once we get that request, we can then take the response and parse it as JSON. And then finally take the users and put them into state. Now that we have the array of users, we can display them. And we can just map over this dot state dot users. And for each user, we will render an li. We have to provide the key prop and we have the ID because we put them on the users. And we'll just have user username. And there we go. We're fetching data and rendering it out. So we have a 
Express server in the back end. We have a React app in the front end. The React app is proxying requests via this proxy line to the Express server. And then the server is handling our requests. If you'd like to see how to deploy this app to production on Heroku, check out the linked article below. Thanks for watching.